Hello and welcome to Biology 10. Okay, so what I wanted to, th to think about today is the cytoskeleton. Um, the cytoskeleton um, is also called a nuclear skeleton in the nucleus. Um, is is to help um, is kind of the microtubules and microfilaments um, in within the within the cell, um, and the cytoplasm itself um, isn't just loads of chemicals. It's actually um, this network of protein threads, which is the um, um, uh, which is the cytoskeleton. So it's not just uh, you know it's not just the plasma. It is that there is actually a, a very important structure there. Um, and they're actually going to sort of power the uh, vesicles to help them move stuff um, through the, throughout the cell, as we saw last time with regards to protein production. Um, so, without further ado, let's try to see what we can do this time. Okay, so we're going to get to black here. Okay, so let's just uh, do the outside of the cell. Just going to. Not like that, it's too far too small. Okay. Um to do it over here, I think. Okay, so I just sort of feel kind of opposite sort of L shape. Fill that in with a uh, this colour. Okay. And then we'll draw the rest of it. And this will be our kind of area that we're looking at. Um, so what I might do is I'm just going to draw... Uh, yeah, I'll draw a line. And I will have to actually remove most of it. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So I'll just draw a line just so I can fill it in with uh, this, uh, um, this colour here. And then what I'm going to do is just going to get the rubber tool and just uh, let's clear off some of this area. Just just to give it, you know, just to give it the appearance. Just seeing the inside of the circles. Obviously, we can't put um, edges or lines because it's going to look like the membrane. So there we go. Just to say, all right, this is this is a part of the cell now. Okay, so let's put in some a uh, little chromatin. So we're going to have the nucleus is going to be on the top left uh, hand corner this time. So we're just going to have a few uh, um, chromatin, um, not like that. Let's go back to yeah. I think if we do it like this, it should be okay. Yeah, this is actually probably the best thing for chromatin. So I have the chromatin there. Let's do the nuclear envelope now. Um, get to black. So nuclear envelope. Um, Okay, so yeah, that's nice, nice, nice structures there. Nuclear envelope, and uh, we can do uh, lysosomes and vesicles. We'll put all that stuff in. Let's do a lysosome then. We'll just fill that. Uh, let's do a big, a reasonably large circle here. Um, a couple of dots, so we can't see. Remember, I said it's got no clear internal structure. Um, we can paint bucket here, and oh, that's the same color. So let's paint bucket. Um, do I have another color? There's not that many good default colors actually. Could try just something a little. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and. Okay, so hmm, I'm going to do this. Um, I guess we'll 
do the, the, the first thing that comes to mind is the Golgi apparatus. So let's try to get a decent Golgi apparatus this time. Let's see how we do. Um, so I'd like to do it like this. In a slightly larger section here. Let's see if we can fill that in. I might have done it slightly wrong. No, it seems to be all right. I have to. I'll probably learn the shortcuts pretty soon. Okay. Nope. Yep. Okay. And do one more. And then do something like this. Fill that in. Okay, so it's fairly obviously the Golgi apparatus. Um, And yeah, this is obviously not, this is just uh, just drawing the cell again. And then I'll just draw, um, let's just do a, a mitochondrion. Draw that. Um, so we'll just do it in this sort of, this sort of shape. And we can show, remember we saw on the electron microscope, we saw these, uh, kind of these sorts of shapes on it. So that's not a bad uh, way of doing it. And we'll fill it in with a nice green color. Try and get all the segments there. It's fairly obviously mitochondrion. And yeah, and then we'll have uh, mm, draw some, we draw just, you know, vesicles. Uh, through. Just do a few randomly tied about. Um, and just fill those in with, uh, um, obviously they've got, they've got those, uh, well some of them near the cell, the membrane, you're probably gonna have those glycoproteins we spoke about. Okay. Yeah, so we can fill in and just uh Yeah. Well it's not perfect that one, but there we go. Um and now what we want to do is we want to have the microfilaments and the microtubules. Um, um so the filaments are uh, small solid strands and the tubules are tiny protein cylinders. So um, the tubules are, are, th are much thicker. So let's just uh, do them. So we'll do a uh, dark color. I'm gonna have to look at some different colors actually. Uh, so what colors should we use for these? I'll use these two blue colors I think um, to indicate these. And these are just going to be kind of, uh, I mean, this is, these are, these are like almost like the power lines of the cell. Um, so they're going to weave, you know, all around the other organelles. Uh, there's going to be lines like that, um, the filaments. But if we're looking at the, uh, the tubules, uh, the tubules rather, um oh, that's the wrong color. It's gonna be more like 
it's going to be much thicker. And that's what I really want to show here. And these may be, and I'm doing it um, purposely on top of each other because um, that's exactly how it how it is. Okay, so so yeah, so and then, and then that's really the um, the main point of uh, this diagram that the um, um, within the cytoplasm um, we've got these uh, microtubules and microfilaments. And just to reiterate um, one final time, um, we can see that these, because they're um, the strands, microfilaments, kind of strands. And then up here, we can say these are the uh, microtubules, um, tiny protein cylinders. So it's a little bit more um, substantial. And this is the cytoskeleton. It's to, it really helps to move everything around. Um, and it's part of the uh, power distribution of the cell. Okay, so just draw, well, there's no point really putting it there. There we go. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so what I could do is just on the left-hand side, I might just, uh, write some things out then um okay so we know um we know the organelles um so let's just reiterate the organelles uh surrounded by cytoplasm okay um and then we'll put the cytoplasm has a network of protein threads. Running through it. Okay. So these threads are the cytoskeleton. Okay, so um, now keep in mind there are. Um, um, now keep in mind there's one thing I wanted to mention. And it's going to be to do with how we move on towards biology eleven, um, and that is that protein production. No, no, no. Um, proteins production in uh, prokaryotic cells is different and that's that's all I'm going to say on that for now actually um, different proteins um, yeah I could say that as well um Um, and then, okay, so this is because they, um, as the prokaryotic cytoskeleton contains different proteins. I'll just I'll just be explicit. As the prokaryotic cytoskeleton contains different proteins. Okay, so. Okay, so I've mentioned, uh, in, and we can, and we can, and we can be, we can be clear here. Um, um, well, we know it's in the eukaryotic cell, actually. Um, okay. Um, so let's just uh, also put some more information. So, so cytoskeleton. Let's just be, so we're going to put a couple of points here. Point one, um, microtubules and microfilaments keep organelles 
in position. Okay. Uh, strengthen the cell. I can just get microchip strengthen uh, the cell and keep it in position. Um, so yeah, that tensile strength. Remember the cell wall is also quite good at that. Um, um, they transport organelles throughout the cell. Um, organelles, they transport organelles and materials within the cell. Okay, so it really is, um, yeah, it, so yeah, it's, I suppose that's where the, uh, um, it's not, maybe it's not quite the same as the actual skeleton. Um, and they can cause the cell to move. So again, that motile strength, like we saw with uh, f um, flagellum, uh, flagella and uh, cilia. Um, okay. So... So yeah, I think that is probably going to just about cover it. Um, yeah, I think I've uh, I've gone through most of the things I wanted to say. And again, with cilia and flagella, um, um, the actual reason they move is because of the uh, cytoskeleton protein filaments. Um, so that is um, so that's actually the reason behind. So even though they do move, it is the underlying reason. And now we can see that that means that. Um, that the cytoskeleton is kind of like a lower level um, and more powerful, you could say, than some of the other uh, some of the actual organelles because they're simply doing what is directed by the cytoskeleton. Um, um, so, in in a in a single cell that's got um, flagella, um, the cytoskeleton is the is the uh, the reason for a propulsion. Um, yeah. So, like I say, that's all I want to talk about today. So, um, uh, next time I think I'm going to move on to talking a bit more about prokaryotic cells. Um, look at the differences um, um, that we're looking at um, between the organelles um, in uh, prokaryotic uh, as opposed to eukaryotic cells. So, thanks for watching.